the Maracanã Stadium, a jewel in the history books of Brazil's football heritage and the center of focus tonight as the official opening ceremony of the 31st edition of the Games kicks off. Now, Rio de Janeiro is slowly beginning to come to terms with its Olympic status and several roads have already been sealed off with security forces on high alert in strategic points. The Olympic Village has also been sealed off to journalists and non-essential staff as athletes make final preparations for the ceremony. An estimated global audience of 3 billion people will be watching the 31st edition of the opening ceremony of the Olympic Games. And that program, of course, will have two segments. One is the formal part of it, which will see athletes marching around the Maracanã Stadium, representing their different countries. There's also the artistic entertainment, which includes 300 dancers, uh, of course, over 3,000 volunteers, and 12,000 costumes that will be on display at the Maracanã Stadium. Team Kenya, led by Shazana Anwar, will leave the Olympic Village at 5.20 p.m. Brazil time, which is 11.20 p.m. Kenyan time headed for the stadium. It is there where they will be briefed on the marching procedure, as was the case during the 2012 Olympic Games in London. The International Olympic Committee has given Kenya a quota of 12 players and officials who will march out of the call room to the track. Thus, the remainder of the 60-plus Kenyan officials and athletes will not attend the ceremony. For the Kenya Sevens team, it is a dream come true for them to compete in the first Olympic Sevens for the first time and to witness an opening ceremony at the Maracanã Stadium. When we got the chance to, become, to, come in, to come to Olympics, we knew it was a big call for us and only God was able to make it through for Obviously us. We're excited to be a part of it, to see how the, what, what they have uh, planned for it, you know, the excitement, the colour. With their two-day tournament set for the 9th and 10th of August respectively, they hope that a podium finish will enable them to motivate Kenya's athletes who take to the track and field from the 12th of August. Uh, it, it's, it's a collective uh, thing and uh, we all need to buy into that and believe in, 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 in that goal. So if we all do that, I'm sure we can come back with a, with a gold or even a, you know, a podium finish. Kenyans who want to catch the opening ceremony live will have to wait until 2 a.m. Saturday morning, which is 8 p.m. Brazil time, for the start of that event. Reporting for Citizen Weekend, I'm Waihiga Mwaura in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil.